How are y'all dickheads doing? It is I, once again, Dick Record, coming to you live from the studio in New York City. I'm about to do a premiere draft from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction, but before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe, and more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash Record. Link in the description where you can catch your streaming video games, Magic the Gathering content, leather craft, and other assorted nonsense every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from around 4 to around 8 Eastern Standard Time, but with that out of the way... Alrighty, here's everybody. Pack one, pick one. What are we getting? <gasps> come on, come on, big money, big money, no whammy, stop! Alright, so what are we looking at here? Oh, I really like Free Strider Lookout. We're gonna probably take that. Um, what else is good here? Every time you crime, which means that this is actually typically in a black X or a blue X something, every time you commit a crime, this is your top five cards of your library. You get to play a land. Very good. It's actually way better than a than uh than it looks. And it's also an on-rate 3-3 three, three for three with reach, right? Um Betrayal at the Vault's fine. Kinda costs a lot, but there will be times where you just two for one your opponent with this at instant speed too. Abraded Bluffs is great. Consuming Ashes is fantastic. We're passing that. We're passing a mourner surprise. Wolverine's fine. Uh gem lightfoot. Unfortunately, I don't like to be in that Azorius Flash deck. And Fling is funny because it exists, right? Like, I can't imagine casting this unless it's to win. So, outside of that, ugh. Like, why two for one yourself? Let's take that Free Strider Lookout. What was here? Arynx is good. Dance of the Tumbleweeds is good if you play it for six. Slick Sequence are in colors you don't want to be in. Same thing for Phantom Interference. Return the favor. Exists. I think we're going to look at the trained Erinx the most. And what is this? Crime and Punishment. Into the battlefield under your control. Okay. Or. Oh yeah. I've seen people try to use. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think I want Crime and Punishment. Right. It seems very, very much a spell that you can splash. It also seems very expensive. Right. From an opponent's it's creature or enchantment from an opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, or destroy each artifact, creature, and enchantment with mana value X. You can accidentally like destroy your own things with this things that you're not paying attention to, like uh, buried in the garden. I'm gonna take the trained airings. It's like the best two drop in this color, and it's one of the best two drops in the set. The ruthless lawbringer. It's also a vile smasher. Hmm. Grizzly's fine. Tyrant Scorn's not bad, actually. Small bit of removal. Patient Naturalist is also pretty good. Um, I think I like the Lawbringer, but you need to be in that, that Sacrifice deck, right? You need to be in that Sacrifice deck. Uh, Tyrant Scorn, I think, is the best card left of the cards that are here. It commits a crime by destroying a small creature, or it could bounce anything. Well, any creature, right? Um, so I'm, I think I'm in for Tyrant Scorn. Gigapede's also a fantastic top end. Seize the Secrets is Divination. Razzle Dazzler, I, I don't think you want to be doing blue-red stuff here. I could also see myself taking Vile Smasher. They're both two-color cards. I like Vile Smasher, but I think I like Tyrant Scorn just a little bit more. Although I've seen this Vile Smasher do some work. Let's see, where are we going here? Uh, there's a Blood Seeker. Reach for the Sky. There's an Emergent Haunting. I like the haunting. I do. I really do. I think it's the one of the better cards here. That said, uh, is it Bloodseeker that much better? It's a two drop, right? So it's an on curve two drop that has a lifelink. So that's great, actually. And I've seen these really stall out games just by getting in there when your opponents are not doing anything or just can't can't really profitably block it. Um, and it commits a crime. On ETB, and I think that's where I want to be. I want to be constantly committing crimes. I want to be like, oh, um, desperate bloodseeker, commit a crime. I want this free strider lookout to work. Um, that said, snakeskin veil is also pretty good for the for the free strider lookout. I'm not seeing a lot of green though. Yeah, let's take that. I'm not seeing a lot of green. Rise of the varmints is fun in black green. There's also a voracious varmint. Which I like as a one or two of in a, in a deck. It's a fine on rate um, creature. And I've seen people use premium removal, like lassoed by the law, to get rid of these things solely because if you don't, this thing just destroys the lassoed by the law. Right? 
That said, I think I want to take Rise of the Varmints because it allows us to, with Desperate Bloodseeker, just like mill ourselves, right? And if we're milling ourselves, we can end up with a huge board because of Rise. So I'm going to take Rise of the Varmints. Um, let's see. That's not a good card. Rico of Many Paths. Let's see. Shackle Slinger is also not a good card. Townsfolk is not the worst. Desecrator, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here for. Uh this looks for you casting modal spells, right? But it's also a three color three three, which means it's gonna be very hard to cast. I think the best card here is actually the Vengeful Townsfolk. Maybe the failed fording's okay. Instant speed bounce something. Um I'm gonna take the townsfolk for now. There's a congregation griff? This late? What? 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 Why is that here? I I asked dubiously. Um, that's one of the best mount payoffs. Uh, if you can saddle this, you can make a game go super duper long while also representing a real clock. Uh, yeah, we're going to take that. We don't really know where we are necessarily right now. There's also a hard bristle bandit, which I wouldn't mind, especially if we end up like trying to splash for black somehow. But I'm going to take the mount. Uh, Sheriff of Safe Passage is not it. Not really in for any of these cards. Prickly Pear's okay, and there's an Oasis Gardener. Um, Sheriff of Safe Passage. I, I don't like this card. Imagine paying three mana for a 1-1. One, because one, that's the that's the that's the bottom rate. I eh. It's like the gardener for now. This is the wheel. Gem light foot wield. What a surprise. I'm gonna take the mortar surprise, actually. I like that card out of all these the most. Um, Desecrator is not great. Map the Frontier exists. If we end up doing like four or five color nonsense, uh, Map the Frontier is not terrible. That said, is it better than the Gardener? I don't think so. None of these cards are good. Um, let me say that. Razzle Dazzler, Seize the Secrets, Boots. Let's take the Seize. Uh, reach for the sky. I'd prefer over the wingsmith. Wouldn't want to play either. Brimstone roundup, kind of unplayable. Gold pen. Gold pen. All right. So there's a thought seize. There's a breaches. There's a Vraska joins up. Not not actually Vraska. And then there's a Lazav. Lazav is pretty good. Um, where are we headed right now? Where are we headed? We have a lot of green cards. We have some blue black card and blue and black cards. Some black cards. It's actually kind of hard to tell, right? None of these rares are like really where we want to be. Thoughtseize is fine. It commits a crime. You lose two life, right? It's a terrible top deck on turn seven, right? Unless your opponent has a grip full of cards. Um, <clears throat> Is it just the trained Erinx? Dance of the Tumbleweeds? Lazav? Lazav is pretty good. If we end up in blue black splashing for green somehow. Ugh, we're so far into like... Di we're, we're in so many different colors right now. Um... If we cut that and we cut that, we don't really have that many gr good green cards. So I'm going to take the Lazav for now. Noting that the trained Erinx is, is very good with the uh, Congregation Griff. Treasure Dredger. There's a Stubborn Burrow Fiend. Actually, Stubborn Burrow Fiend is actually really good with the Mounts deck as well as Rise of the Varmints. So I'm going to take that. Same thing. I, I could say the same thing for Patient Naturalist. that just helps us wheel into cards that we may want. Seize the Secrets is only an okay card. We're still trying to find our lane. Wild. Um, a lot of players in this format are playing like four, maybe five color nonsense. Because if you make the game go long, you can really, really do some degenerate stuff in this format. Uh, I'm going to take the uh, Burrow Fiend. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take the Hard Bristle Bandit here. Do I like it over Dance of the Tumbleweeds? Uh, it's fixing and it's ramp, um, whereas Dance of the Tumbleweeds is the kind of card that you want to do both modes of, just to get like a, maybe a 6-6 six, six creature and get a land out of your deck, and possibly like put a desert into play so that you can crime your opponent. But I think Hard Bristle Bandit's great. Bandit's Hall is also okay if you're doing a lot of criming. Let's take out the Vengeful Townsfolk for now. Now there's a Slick Shot Lock, Lock Picker. There's a Raucous Entertainer. There's a Patient Naturalist. This this pack has it all. Um, we're so far away from blue that I don't want to take the 
lock picker actually it feels like we're gonna go green black that said either it's the vault plunderer or the naturalist naturalist can help you dig for your lands and fill your graveyard the vault plunderer though is just like oh would you like a card just now for free it's a great card um we might splash for lazav scorn and griff but we'll have to see where our mana takes us um cactarantula at the top end is great i do not have oh there's a repulse too well, we're more in green black right skullduggery is a fine card um i might have to cut the Arinx. congregation griff might not make the deck either but i'm gonna leave it there for now i'm gonna take the cactarantula though having a nice big creature like that at the top end usually usually helps uh there's a one of those and then the consuming ashes well, I know what we're taking here. Uh, the Raucous Entertainer number two. Jeez, it feels like green's like super open. But you want to take at least one of, if not multiple, exile-based removal spells because if you run into a Rakdos, there's no other way to deal with that stupid thing. Rakdos is dumb. Uh, you know, it's one of those like, <laughs> good luck type deals. Let's see, what's good here? Is it not take the fall? Is it Phantom Interference is like a six drop card? I don't know if it is. Mm, none of these cards are really for us. I'm going to take the Holy Cow. It's just the best card here possibly for us. Oh, let's take the fall. Might be bad. Might be okay. Now let's take the Holy Cow. If we end up in white somehow, that, that really helps. Soured Springs. Perfect. We need the, the fixing. We need the deserts. Get on board, baby. All right, breaches wield because nobody wants breaches. Uh, it's this red blue stuff, and breaches is like so hard to use without Malcolm. They're both rares. If there are both uncommons, mm, maybe red blue might be a little bit more too powerful. But also, um, then you might actually have a functioning archetype by himself. Breaches doesn't really do much. Uh, that said, nothing else is here for us, so I'm just gonna rare draft that. Essence capture, treasure dredger, treasure dredger is fine. It's a two drop. Sometimes it helps you fix, right? You have to pay life for the fixing, but it's fine. Um, Shackle Slinger is terrible. Jailbreak Scheme is actually not terrible, though. Um, I don't like the f the three mana part, but the two, right? And being able to full send it is actually not bad. Lockpicker wield. Holy crap. Stop cold also wield. That's a fine removal spell. How are we doing in terms of creatures? We have 12 creatures, too. Um, the Holy Cow might not make it. Same thing for the Congregation Griff. And what is the holdup, sir? Probably have another streamer. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're going to be Sultai Soup. So I might need to cut this Congregation Griff. I'm leaving it there because it's just, uh, it's, it's, it's actually really good. Oh, come on. <laughs> cool. Gee whiz, I wonder what I'm taking. Uh, <laughs> ah, we're not passing Bonnie Paul. Um, I know that we're not very blue, but we're not passing Bonnie Paul. Uh, <laughs> Blood Hustler is also great in this deck, as is Badlands Revival, as is the Naturalist and the Bandit. We're not passing Bonnie Paul. We already have a Mourner Surprise 2 in case we accidentally mill it from whatever. We don't have any Patient Naturalists. That's fine. Yeah, we're taking the Bonnie Paul. Bonnie Paul, get on board. You're the next contestant on the prices right. There's also a Lazav. Totally fine card. I'm taking the Bonnie. Get in here, Bonnie Paul. It's one of my most dra drafted rares. All right, so uh, this is interesting. I think we have to be. I think we have to be good about our mana and just take the Mirage Mesa. Although Mystical Tether is not. Not terrible. Because it exiles and. Yes, it is a four drop. I'm sorry. Yes, it is a three drop. It's actually kind of a five drop. Um, God, that's a it's a really good card too. Raven's good if you're going to be committing a lot of crimes. Raven's actually really good. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's take the fixing. I don't want to. I don't want to try to splash for like white. We might be not be playing the the Griff, especially with our mana so stretched out like this. Um. Bandit's Hall probably makes this deck, actually, because we need the fixing. Um, it's harder to interact with because it's an artifact. The Voracious Varmints take care of it pretty easily. 
it also pays us off for committing crimes. Otherwise, I might be considering taking pillage of the bog, actually, because there are times where this is just straight up demonic tutor. You know, go through your entire deck, take a card, right? Look at the so top, like, 14 cards is not unreasonable. We're going to take the uh, that, though. Let's see. Dirge. Dirge might be okay. There's also a throw from the saddle and a Mirage Basa. Dirge might be okay because you could actually use it to um, cast stupid things out of your graveyard. Um, You know, I we really use a Rudstein here really use a Rudstein here. Um, throw from the saddle is also not unreasonable. I will say that. Although we don't have too many big creatures to really get in and punch. Although we do have the bur Burrow Fiend. Is it the removal? It might be the removal. Yeah, I probably need the removal. Um, Force of Vigor. There's a Creosote Heath too. I think we take the Heath. Uh, yeah, I think we, could, we should take the Heath, I think. Conduit pylons is also not bad. <sighs> I think the pylons actually do more for us. Because it filters better. Um, consuming ashes. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Love a good consuming ashes. Um, gigapede at the top. Let's go. Always want a gigapede up at the top. Um, we might be playing Seize the Secrets. Uh, jailbreak scheme is really like a five drop. Vault Buster probably doesn't make the deck. Hmm. This thing wield. That tells me that, like, the mounts deck is very open. It's just a shame that uh, we didn't get enough mount payoffs. Uh, Riku. Yeah, we're not we're not Rikuing. Uh, I guess we take the Sterling Hound here. I'm not, like, thrilled about it. There's a Splasher. In for that. Splasher every time it attacks commits a crime. Makes combat math very difficult for your opponent. Um, Visage Bandit. Oh, wow, that's a late Mystical Tether too. Uh, Vantage, nobody wanted that. I think I want the Strix actually. When it ETBs, it commits a crime. Fake your own death is not great. I will take the Gardener. Especially when we're doing like 7 color soup here. I'll take that, but I don't think we're playing it. Um, Daring Thunder Thief is a 4-mana, enters the battlefield, tapped creature. I've seen... I was watching... I think it was Paul Cheon, and he... His opponent played a Daring Thunder Thief and then copied it later on, and the copy ended up... entered tapped. And it's like, wow! That's terrible, actually. With the uh, Visage Bandit, I believe, he copied it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Just like, hmm, that seems very bad. To be honest. Uh, <laughs> Creosote Heath Wield. Um, I, I, I just want it for the criming. I don't think we're playing the uh, Griff. Okay, so we have 43 cards. We want to cut down to... 40-ish. T Cree. All right, let's split this in half. All right, so Rise of the Varmints might not be so good in this deck, although we do have the Burrow Fiend still. Throw from the saddle, Mourner Surprise, those are fine. That's removal. So let's look at our removal suite. It's this, these, no, no, all in the same pile, all in the same pile. Jailbreak Scheme, putting a creature on top is a removal spell. Um, we might not need Seize the Secrets because we have the Bandits Hall. Scorn is removal, Throw from the Saddle is removal. Uh, I'm going to cut the Rise of the Varmints, actually. Uh, it feels like it's not going to do enough. When did I? Oh, I thought that was the other Free Strider. Mm, Slick Shot Lockpicker can get back any of these removal spells, and I think that that's fantastic, actually. Our top end, this could be a 5-drop if we have a Desert Out. Hopefully that happens to be the case, and we have three pieces of ramp that can tap for any color. So I think that this is fun. Mm, we got to cut back two cards, right? So Bloodseeker, that's a crime. Splasher's a crime. Strix is a crime. That cares about crimes. Okay. Let's cut two cards. Ah, uh, all right. So let's get rid of that. And... You know what? Tyrant Scorn is actually the hardest sp removal spell that we have to cast, right? Even though it's in our colors. Um, Jailbreak Scheme can wait until we have three mana. It has to wait until we have three mana. And it's also a neat combat trick, which we don't really have too many of, although it is sorcery speed. 
Um, that's also sorcery speed removal. The that's instant speed. This is instant. This is instant. Instant. Um, actually, you know what? I do prefer instant to sorcery. So let's cut that one. And I think that this is fine. Let's see. Our mana sources are seven, eight, seven, seven blue, eight black, seven green. Okay, and that's between our duels as well as uh, counting the Mirage Mesa as one of each. Uh, it seems fine. We're going to need two blue at the top end for Bonnie Paul, but we're fine with that. I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, let's start off. Oh no, going into round one. I really like this deck. Um, I I like our start, and I like that we've drafted another Bonnie Paul. Some people don't get to draft Bonnie Paul at all, and this is the fourth time that I've been like, Oh, Bonnie Paul, get in the deck, baby. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a Bonnie Paul in our opener. We can keep this. Just two six drops here. We'd like to draw into lands. Um, since we drew a blue source, I'm actually going to play this also for blue. No, for black, sorry. Uh, since we drew a blue source. Mm -hmm. Merchant Haunting, sure. Uh, I'm going to play this. We got the throw from the saddle. I'm going to mill myself. Two lands, okay. Opponent's big think here. All right. Hey, we got a consuming ashes. I'll play this. Hmm. There's a high chance they have counter magic up, so I am going to end my turn here. There's a very high chance that, that that those two blue mana represented counter magic, and I'd rather just be able to uh, remove whatever they play next turn with a Consuming Ashes or a Throw from the Saddle. Throw from the Saddle will be nice too, because it'll also, if this is the target, gain us some life, right? Yep. Looks like our opponent's playing a little bit of everything, huh? Same colors already. Opponent's considering attacking, or they're considering a putting something out now, which is fine. Um, they might just bounce this Desperate Bloodseeker. We put two lands in our graveyard, and that's actually kind of okay. Alright, Satoru. I'm killing that. We definitely have to kill the Satoru. Um... Another land can get us the, uh, the Cactarantula, right? Oh no, we need one more green source. Ooh. Is our mana base just a little bit too choked? Let's find out together. Um, this is a turn where somebody might play a Cactarantula. Sure. Opponents deep in the tank. It's okay. Let me guess. It's the uh, oh, it's that one. Okay. So, what do we do here? I guess we slap first, and we gardener. They're gonna get a five-five. I don't think we necessarily need to remove it. I think just playing out a cactus will be fine. To uh, trade with it, right? That's a Toru would have drawn them a card off of that. Yep. Would like opponent to tap out here. If opponent taps out and we draw a land, we could just play Bonnie Paul next turn, right? Yeah. Because we this taps for one of any color. So we'd have the green. Deep Muck Desperado. It's like they're leaving up mana for Mana for a counter spell. So we're gonna cast this. Please counter this. Aw, oh, damn. I wanted them to counter it. Draw land. Uh, next. No attacks. End turn. If they attack with this, I will trade double blocking it with the Vault Plunder and the Deep, the Desperate Bloodseeker. 
because I'd rather trade these two than let them keep the 5-5 five, five, and if they have to use a combat trick, good beats. Um, we also have double blue up, which allows us to bluff counter magic. So I'm going to go into full control. And let them think that we have it. Own in. Real big, real big think there. Mm -hmm. They might just have removal spells here. I don't think that these are the correct things to use their removal spells on. Past two attackers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spell block like that. I want them to use their mana so that they don't... Okay. Sure. They did not use their mana. If I play this... I have access to Consuming Ashes. And I think I need to do that. Although I could leave up mana for the Ambush Gigapede and that might also be fine. Right? They do have access to Counter Magic. Now let's just play this. Sure. Now I still have access to Consuming Ashes should I need it. So no attacks and turn. Like we're not under a lot of pressure here. Right. Opponent surveilling is great. They have been representing counter spell though, which is why I don't want to run out any of our big creatures out into counter magic, even though we do have a mourner surprise. Yep. I'm surprised that they're not attacking with Deep Muck Desperado. Pass pass. Yep. Um My turn. There's another gardener. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Five, six, seven. We have access to seven mana. If I play that, we have access to seven mana. What am I doing? We can pay if they want to counter this. Sure. Auto pay. We lost a Consuming Ashes and a Spring Splasher. Not terrible. And we got a counter spell out of their hand. I don't know if that's the only counter spell in their hand. They were playing like they had it this whole time. There's a Jace. Okay, sure. Um, step out of the shadows. Step out of the shadows. Why, nerd? Alright, so you loot, right? You're a looter. Draw a discard. You could also plot cards from your hand. And then there's the plus, the minus six, which is until end of turn, whenever you cast a spell, copy it. Okay, so seize the secrets. Not bad. Um, if I attack with this, they likely just trade. Um, I think now is a good time to Bonnie Paul. Right? That allows us to attack with the Cactarantula. Yep. We make a babe. Next. We'll attack with the Cactarantula. Um. Hmm. Let me see how much they care about that. This draws us a card. So it's great that we had the Cactarantula out. And then we can play a land. So I'm actually going to play the... Hmm. Conduit pylons, because that allows us to both fix and also surveil. Don't mind stop cold, actually. Enchanted permanence. Okay. So yeah, they're trading both of those. Sure. It's fine. I still have this thing. Uh, and I can play the Oasis Gardener. Sure, let's play Oasis Gardener. If they counter this, they counter it. I actually don't care, right? Alrighty. And now we have access to what? Seven? Eight, nine, ten mana? It's actually pretty good. Yep. So they're going to seize the secrets. Cool. Yep. I think next turn we just try to get rid of the Jace. They're going to loot here. Okay, they got a dock or rock or or lock or lock dock or lock or lock. We're gonna 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. And I don't think they can protect their Jace from these two. Well, I guess they just sort of it just sort of dies. I could just get rid of it with stop hold, right? Um I do want to kill the Jace though. I don't think that Jace is great. Draws us a card. Play a land from the grave. Uh do we need more lands, mana right now? Um this commits a crime, but let's play this. Yep. I'm actually gonna slow roll this Soured Springs, because I don't really need it right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. They're really trying to protect that. Um if I stop cold it now. That still just gets rid of it entirely. But I don't think that there's a real reason for me to do that right now. Especially with our hand this loaded and our opponent's hand like Yeah, let's just let's just pass for now. If they play anything stupid, we could still just kill it, right? With stop cold and consuming ashes in our hand. Um, and there's no reason for me to play this uh, Sterling Hound right now. So it's Surveil 2 right now. I'd rather just like leave up mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have access to 11 mana. Okay. So we could both stop hold and consuming ashes, or if they play something small, ambush Gigapede it, and then consuming ashes something else. What they get rid of? Decisive denial? Cool. A fight spell was not going to help them here. Um, especially with all the removal we have. Jackal Slanger. Uh, sure. If they just pitch the um that thing, the Shackle Slinger gets to lock down our Bonnie Paul. Although I do think now is a good time to just stop cold the uh the Shackle Slinger. Actually, Spring Splasher. Well, I guess it's just second spell, right? So that's probably fine. Oh, they don't have mana to counter this. So I can just play the Ambush Gigapede, right? There's a Jin. okay. Pass to attackers. Kill that. Commit the crime. Um, my turn. Draw that, draw that. Um, I'm gonna actually consuming ashes kill the Jinn of Fool's Fall, and then we'll just kill the uh, Jace. Right. Wait, no. Let's stop cold. Bit a second crime. Let's start pressuring our opponent's life total. Draw a card, play that from the... There, yep. Sure. They really want that, okay. Um... Should I... I could draw the card whenever I want. I guess the question is, could they have a board wipe? They could have, um, what's it called? Something forces? Oppressive forces? And that would be bad, which is why I'm going to hold on to the Mourner's Surprise right now. Um, they are at four life. They have nothing. They could s trade their Jason to double up these next couple of spells? Yeah. Sure. That's going to help them loot. So they're not, they don't have, they don't like what they have in their hand. Uh, yep. Good game. All right. We could, we out controlled them. Great. We were a little behind on uh, land drops for a bit back there, but uh, ultimately it sort of smoothed itself out and we got to that point where we were just able to resolve all of our mana hungry things. We even got them on the, uh, claim that. We even got them on the, um, the counter spell because they were like, I got to counter that. And it's like, I have access to two mana, so you counter nothing, sir. Uh, Want to know going into round two. Doing pretty good so far. 
Um, would have liked a green source. Actually, technically have green sources. Never mind. This is fine. Uh, which means I think we have to start off with our Mirage Mesa. There we go. Green source right there. Sure. Lush Oasis. Okay. Um, hmm. This is actually really hard then. If I play the blue source, I can cast the Harrier Strix. I think I want to go for value. So let's do this. Uh -huh. Raucous Entertainer. Sure. Um, I'm going to play this, and then I'm going to play the... Bandit's Hall. have another source of mana and then should I play the Strix? No, let's hold off on doing that and turn. Next turn I can... Sure, Patient Naturalist. Does that mean they're missing a land drop? No, okay, they're getting a green source and they're putting a token on that. Sure. This Raucous Entertainer is going to be a problem. Free Strider Lookout. Um... I could play the Swamp and then play the Strix and tap something. Or I can play the Swamp and then throw from the saddle, kill the Raucous Entertainer. And I don't hate that. Because I think that that Raucous Entertainer is going to be a problem. That commits a crime, that gets us a land. Oh, you know, I should have got a green source. Ah, we have a green source with the uh, Bandits Hall. Sure. They're going to surveil here. Next turn, Bandits... Or no, Soured Springs, Cactarantula. I think that's pretty good, right? Um, or Soured Springs, Oasis Gardener? They could just hit us with the Patient Naturalist. And if they have a removal spell for the Free Strider Lookout, that's bad. But what, what are we going to do, right? Technically already did its job. Got us a land for free. Realistically, though, I... Oh, no. Double blue is good for Bonnie Paul. So, well, we already had double blue. I, yeah, I should have got the green source. Whoopsie. If they destroy the Bandits Hall, I can't cack the Rantula next turn. It came into play untapped. Too. No, no, it didn't. Never mind. Um, They're plotting. Okay. Uh, Play the Soured Springs. That commits a crime. Um, we're never going to see this again, so I might as well just grab it and move the game forward a little bit. And then Cac Tarantula. Yeah, they're tapped out, right? So yeah, Cac Tarantula. Uh, next, no attacks, end turn. Would like to draw into something nicer though. Harrier Strix can help us, so I'm actually going to stop playing lands that don't just commit crimes. Uh, Spinewood's Paladin's pretty good here. Lone Shark gets them a card, sure. Okay. Alright, so. We're going to play the Harrier Strix. I'm going to tap down this thing. I think it's a crime in done, and we're going to grab a green source. Yep. Okay. Um, we could use this to loot. So I think, should I just send in the Cactarantula? Maybe, right? If they double block it, I could just get it back with Mourner Surprise and then play it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can do both of those. Okay, they're taking it. Let's draw a card then. Not what we wanted. All right. Uh, let's play the gardener for now. And end turn. We're actually going to try to... Oh, I should have played it. No. No, I think we're fine here. Yep, they're just going to swing. Okay. Uh, Don't necessarily need to block here, right? Because that's a thing. And I know that they want to get rid of the free strider lookout. Actually, maybe I should let them. Right? If they have Snakeskin Veil, it doesn't save that thing, right? 
I thought about putting it in front of the paladin. Oh, do they have to, uh, trash the town? They might have trash the town. Yeah, they do. Okay. That does save that thing. Okay. Sure. They're drawing two. That's pretty good. I kind of wish I had a trash the town. Um, Duelist De La Mind. Okay. Huh. I can't really attack into that with this. I think we have to be on the back foot then. Uh, Alright, let's activate this ability to pitch a land. That's great, actually. Money Paul. Um, next, attack with this. Draw a card. Get a land from the graveyard. Sure. Um, end turn? Bonnie Paul's just bigger than everything you have. You use the trash the town, so that's fine. Um, and I have a mourner surprise and a consuming ashes, both of which came at exactly the right time. But yeah, 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 yeah. Buried in the garden. That's pretty bad. All right, so they're gonna take. My bow. Okay. Not upset about that, actually. Yeah, I'm not really upset about that. Mm hmm. Because I'm going to let them kill my Bonnie Paul and then get it back with the uh, Mourner's Surprise. And that's going to be fun. Sure. Cool. Ah, I was hoping they would kill it. <laughs> okay. Sure. Ah, shame. All right. So, hmm. We have an axe answer to the Spinewoods Paladin, so I'm gonna block like this, and then they should trade. Yep. Okay. So. God, I really do wish that they killed that. All right, so Mortar Surprise. Get back Cactarantula. Cactarantula. Um, play a Black Source. And while they're tapped out, get rid of the Spinewoods Paladin. No attacks right now. And I think we just chump block the Lone Shark. Cactarantula can eat the Duelist. Um, we can draw another card off of the Bandit's Hall next turn if we need to. And we can loot away these lands using the Harrier Strix. Uh, I might play the Pylon solely so that I get the Surveil value first. Because I think that that's better than just looting. Okay, there's your Bonnie Paul. Well, Shiza. All right. This is this is this is the time where you're just gonna see a lot of these dumb things. They didn't attack. All right, shit. Um, Tyrant Scorn's great there. Ah, uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna play the pylons. Let's get some surveil value. Lazav is not terrible here. Um, especially when you commit crimes, you get cards out of your opponent's graveyard. Makes him that much bigger. <sighs> okay. This Tyrant Scorn can bounce the uh, the bow, which is probably the best way to deal with that. Um, the question is, do I just loot or do I just draw into it the Lazav? And I think the answer is like, yeah, let's draw him. Okay, play the Lazav. Okay. And we could always loot away with the Harrier Strix, so I think that this is fine. Next. No attacks right now. None of their creatures... Well, this doesn't uh, trample, and this doesn't trample. What are the chances that they have another um, one of those? We will likely need to... Okay. I think I just chump with the, uh, the token. Okay.
Okay. Free Strider Commando. Okay. 4-4. Four, four. I'm gonna loot here. Pitching a forest. They have something in their hand. Pitch that. And let's pitch this last forest. That's exactly what I needed to consuming ashes. Alright. So how do we do this? I believe the hard bristle bandit doesn't really do much on this board. Um we could see they're representing snakeskin veil. That's the main issue here. Um they're a creature, right? So we bounce that thing. And then consuming ashes can get rid of that thing. Okay. So there's no real reason to attack here. Uh no attacks. You know what? Tyrant scorn here. Return target creature to their owner's hand. I will do that. And I will get your Hmm. Is it correct to remove their Cactarantula or Spinewoods Pelon? Let's get rid of their Cactarantula for now. Um, decline. D -d -d decline. Snakeskin Veil. There's the Veil. There's the Consuming Ashes. And you can have the Veil. Alright. Um. End turn. Now, how do we get rid of Bow? Because it's clear that they valued their bow pretty highly since they protected it. Let's see. Alright, so... I will loot with you. Pitch that. Loot with you again. Um, Neither of these are great. I will pitch the Hard Bristle Bandito. And goodbye, Strix. You did your job. Okay. Have a pretty big board. That's of concern. Um, uh, I think they got us. Because the treasure dredger doesn't do much here. They have one, two, three, four, five attackers, and I have a land. So I'm just gonna good game them and concede. Yeah, that sucked. Um, <clears throat> we knew that they had the vill, which is why we had to aim that at bow. But I really need to get rid of the, the Bonnie Paul because the Bonnie Paul was going to represent um, them drawing a bunch of cards, right? Hmm. Maybe what I should have done, though, is attempted the exile the next turn so that Lazav could have been something big. It would have been big enough to block the um, the bow, though. Leave match. But it would have given me access to another token on the hall to draw another card. Not that we were drawing anything good at that point in the game. Uh, oh, well. Match went well though. Uh, one and one. Uh, we still lost, and I'm trying to think of like what we could have done to get around that. Bonnie Paul versus Von Bonnie Paul is very much a who's going to draw the removal first, right? Woo, that's bad, Mulligan. <laughs> I need more than just that. I'm sorry. Uh, here's the Bonnie Paul and the Mortar Surprise and everything else. The Mortar Surprise goes to the bottom because we want we are we are mana hungry here. Um. In fact, I'm going to play the Heath first. We're mana hungry. I'm going to play the Heath. We're going to try to... We're going to turn to the Bandit, turn three, the uh, Gardener. We draw a third land or a fourth land. We're going to be golden. Two drop, three drop. Yep. Opponent likely looks like they're red white, so it looks like they're going to be on the aggro play, which means that this Bonnie Paul is going to be great here. Um, play this, gain some life. Uh, let's see. We need to draw one more land, and we could just shoot out the Bonnie Paul turn four, and that'll be one of those like, good luck. It'll also be the squishiest that what's-his-face will be. Alright. Sure. 
We're attacking with both. That'll happen. Mm hmm. No blocks. I'm gone. And perfect. Benjamin Paul. Your turn. Or not Benjamin, sorry. Bon bonnet bonnet bonnetastic Paul Pauliferous? Bonnie Pal. Pal. It's Bonnie Pal. I keep thinking it's Bonnie Paul. Um opponent has three lands out. They have a handful of cards, and they're looking at a Bonnie Paul. Uh, if they attack with Vengeful Townsfolk, I will block it with this thing and let them have it. Uh, this is not the kind of start that you want to be looking at when your opponent uh, is playing the aggro red-white deck, right? We did put the Mourner Surprise to the bottom, so we're not going to see that ever again. Opponent needs to exile the Bonnie Paul soon. <clears throat> Next turn, I can play the Harrier Strix, tap down whatever their biggest thing is and attack with just bow. Right? Bow? Yeah, bow. But they're, they're like, really like Jesus. I need my um, Mystical Tether now. If they don't have Mystical Tether now, they're, they're kind of screwed. Because this Bonnie Paul is going to start drawing us cards. Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not blocking that. That's a, that's a trap right there. That is a trap arena. Tap the Hardburst Bandit for blue, pay, play the Harrier Strix. Mm hmm? There's a derailment, sure. Okay. Cactarantula. Wow. Alright, so blue? Tap that. Untap that. Play this. Uh, I guess we just force in damage, right? Draw a card. No land. Oh, no ramp. Okay. Put our opponent opponent down to ten. Still have a Cactarantula. Um, next turn. I mean, regardless, the Harrier Strix just kind of gets in, right? Uh. Who have access to two of these one one or sorry two twos? There's a lassoed. There you go. That's what you need. That's what you need. Mhm. Mm you definitely target the Bonnie Paul. Don't tell me you're not targeting Bonnie Paul. Come on now. Come on, baby. All right. Um. Let's see. Priest Rider Lookout's actually great here. But might it be better to? Nah, not really. Right. I guess if I send the Cactarantula, they can't really do anything else here. I think they have to like double block it. Um, and the vengeful townsfolk just sort of uh, don't really do much of anything except die here. So let's just, yeah, they have no reach either. So let's just send these two in. And then I'm going to dump my hand. Free Strider Lookout and Burrow Fiend. Yep. Sure. That does power up the townsfolk. Okay, resolve. Free Strider look out. Mm. Burrowfin? Burrowfin, deal. And end turn. <clears throat> if the townsfolk attack again, I'm just not going to block again. Uh, would love to crime, though, next turn. Yeah, Free Strider lookout's just sort of like, hmm. The Burrowfin. Hmm. Do we saddle the Burrowfin? Journey to Nowhere. Okay. If they target the Cactarantula, I draw a card off of it. But it looks like they're they're targeting the Lookout. Mm-hmm. The Cactarantula is your biggest threat here, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will take that action and draw a card. Okay. I have access to two mana. Uh, this looks like a trap, so... But I don't really want to go down that much. Uh, no blocks. I don't think they can do a, another 7 on top of what they have right now, right? 
What's your saddle cost? Two? Okay. Sure. <clears throat> Deadeye Duelist. Alright, so this is no longer attacking. Hey, a stop cold! Um, alright. So that changes things, doesn't it? I tap this for blue. Wait a minute. Are they just dead? Tap this for blue. Stop cold that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, alright, so... Get this for blue. Conduit pylons. Uh, forest to the yard. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next. I'll attack. Good game. They had to fight their way through a lot of shit, though. Like... <laughs> they had to fight their way through a Bonnie Paul. They had the answer. They had the answer, leaf match. Um, and our bow did not fare too well against an explosive derailment. But what are you can do? Then just also having a wide enough board allows you to hit for nine. Uh, claim that. Uh, two and one going into round four. Doing pretty well with this deck, actually. Not a surprise. Bonnie Paul is stupid. Um, I mean, not stupid like 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 in the traditional like in the brain sense but in the uh in the oh you thought that this was a wise decision to make this card um feels like feels like a draft design mistake i don't know uh 57 okay All right, looks like we're going first. Ah, oh, God, this is fine. No, it's not. Black source could use the treasure dredger to make mana. All right, we're going first. I think this is fine. We'll play this for black. If we get a blue source, we hope we could hold up uh, Tyrant Scorn. Oh my God. I don't think we do though. I think we just treasure dredger here. They could path to exile it. That'd be actually nice of them. Mm-hmm. All right, so blue source next. I'm gonna attack. Then we're going to Alt Plunderer. Draw a card. There's a lock picker. I haven't seen that in a while. So this allows us to, uh, yeah, kill that and then saddle the. Hmm. I guess if I just play this. The turn after I, w I I wish I drew a land. By the way, get saddle. No, sorry, not saddle. I guess we could just let this hit us. Um, play this. I'm just gonna attack. It's five. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Tyrant Scorn next turn can make us eat that and then hit them with the Lazav. Path to Exile. Wow. New Battlefield. What do I need? I have a black, a green, and a blue. I could use another black. I could also use another blue. More immediately, I could use a black for the Consuming Ashes. Um... Play this. Just hit him. End turn. Uh, return target creature to its owner's hand. Okay, so I can use that to actually... Oh, I can use Scorn to bounce my own creature off of, like, those stupid cards. Okay. Um, next turn we can play the Cactarantula if we want to. Right, we've ramped into it. They have, an ac they have access to blue mana, which is of concern. Sure. I could kill that if I want to. I can't believe they passed my friggin' um my Lazav of all things. Sure, let's tyrant scorn that. Destroy target creature. Okay, that was the hand check. I wanted to see if they had uh counter spell. Done with this. I wanted to see if they would have a counter spell to counter that. Right, okay. Is for one. Um, 
It looks like they have Bonnie Paul mana, so we need to be careful of that. Um, Stagecoach security. All right. So next turn, we get to attack with the Cactarantula. Great. Okay, they're going to 12. Or going to 6, rather. Um, I'm going to plot this. I'm going to play this. Just to have a board. All right, we don't have anything in the graveyard. We have one creature in the graveyard. Okay. They have Bonnie Paul mana here. Sterling Supplier. Okay. If they attack us, we just... Okay. Not important. Um, I could bounce their creature. I just shove this in their face. And I think that's the correct thing to do is to attack with the... Actually. Let's mill a little bit. The 4-4 now. Uh, send this in. Mm -hmm. Sure, they trade. Um, I don't really need that right now. So let's just play the Sterling Hound and and check him again. No counter magic. All right, so Gardener into the yard and Swamp to the yard. End turn. This will allow us to make our stubborn Burrow Fiend that much bigger next time we attack with it. Uh, the slick shot lock picker also allows us to, I wish I drew a, uh, I wish I got another land actually. Probably shouldn't, Mitten? No, I think that swamp to the graveyard is fine. Sure, Silvala. They have access to three mana. So I'm assuming they have access to, um, What's it called? I'm assuming they have access to a uh, snakeskin veil. So what I want to do here is actually bounce the Silvala, right, with Tyrant Scorn. So I'm gonna play this Slick Shock Lock Picker first. Yeah. Tyrant Scorn. I'm gonna bounce their Silvala. Um, return target creature to owner's hand. Committing a crime. Holy cow. Oh. I thought that they actually had, like, removal. Um, or something bad. Uh. Sure. Resolve. I thought that they had something bad. Oh man, this is actually way better. Okay. <coughs> sure. Um, saddle with this to... Okay. Next, send it in. Sure. There's... Something to be said for attacking with also the Hound and the Dredger. Oh, 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 we're, we're doing it. Okay, sure. Um, yeah, I'll kill those two. Okay, uh, end turn. That's fine. If they play the Silvala again, we get to kill it, or attempt to kill it again. Silvala? Then they get an O go. Then they make a three three. I'm called the Undertaker. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay, so <laughs> just try to stop me. Bonnie <laughs> swear to God. Bonnie Paul. Um attacking Oko. Because that will be a problem. Uh let's get the Soured Springs. Also the Mourner surprise is pretty good. Next turn, I can tap down whatever their biggest creature is and swing out, and I think that'll uh, be the game. Because the Harrier Strix on ETB taps down something, which is kind of cool. 
And if they don't like that, we can stop cold something. Ha <laughs> ha! I think they make another 3-3 three, three here. I don't think that it's wise for them to loot. Draw two, discard two. I, I feel like they're not going to be casting any... Um... Yeah, yeah. A <laughs> dear friend, you son of a bitch, Oko. All right, so Mystical Tether is pretty good. Hmm? Got to do it. Yep, makes sense. All right, so. Ah, uh, Strix. Tap that down. And then stop, hold that. All attack. Good game. I love having removal when we absolutely need it. Just like, oh yeah, um, our opponent needs to block now. Whoops, dead. Uh, cool, cool. Three and one. Three and one. Uh, whew. I think this is. I guess we could keep this, right? We can Burrow Fiend on turn two. It's just, what do we do after that? Everything else is... We have a one drop and a two drop. I will keep it fine. Um, uh, green source. Mm -hmm. um, let me play this actually and dig for a land. There we go. Okay. Uh, Alright. They're gonna surveil. Alright. Um play a blue source. Tap that down. Attack with that. Hmm. We don't necessarily have the access to mana for consuming ashes. Not that we need it here. Um, ooh, I'll cast the green blades. Pretty good. And it gets them a land. Yep, it's going to be another desert. So this is going to be a 3 4. Alright, alright. Um, play this. Play this. Saddle up, partner. The 3 3. Uh, yeah, yellow. Alright, let's clear the board a little bit. Oh! Hello. I would much rather that be dead. I'm sorry. Outcaster green blade number two. Wow! Okay. Sure. The opponent's deck is stacked. This is amazing. Um, if they don't kill our Oasis Gardener. I can totally play a Cactarantula next turn, and that'd be nice. Yep. Or we could just draw into the land. In which case, do I just attack with both? No, because they have open green mana. Um, I guess I could play the Ambush Gigapete to kill the Sterling Hound, right? Bonk. And... Just play this, right? Let's end turn here. Um, I would like to ambush Gigapede, kill the Hound, block the green blade. They have blue now. Hmm. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Pass. Giga. Well. Honest root stain. Well, shit. What? Not the green blade? Okay. I feel like the green blade's the better grab, but sure. Because then it gets you a land and then you play the land. I don't know. Maybe they they want... Ooh, they're going to reanimate my Gigapede. Oh, no. That's pretty bad. All right. Um, Play this. Let's see. <sighs> okay. So they took six off of that. So, no reason to not do this. He play the big boy himself. Throw 
throw from the saddle draws me a card. Sure. Pretty good. And this is 10? Yep, 13 rather. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad for us. Um, hmm. Okay, and they're leaving up mana for counter magique. I have to kill that. Um, you have to block, so no attacks right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Balls. Wasn't paying attention. That was my bad. Ah, damn. Damn, that reanimate came at exactly when they needed it. Holy shit. I was like, mm, mm, mm. We did... Their deck's ama amazing, though. Like, two outcaster green blades. An honest red scene. I'm, I'm surprised that they didn't grab an outcaster from that. Uh, but I guess surveilling two seemed more important to them. I don't know. They still had action in their hand, too. Wow. All right, leave match. Damn. They got us good, too. They got us on the aggro plan and everything. Was the hand bad? It did feel like there were turns where we weren't really doing anything. Three and two going into round six. It did feel like there was like one or two turns that we didn't really get to do anything with our mana. But we did draw into the lands that we needed, right? Um, the blowout, though, of them just reanimating our ambush gigapede. Even though they took six. Yeah, that's still pretty good, right? That's still pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Um, here's our next opponent. We have all of our mana? We have most of our mana. With like a blue source. Or sorry, a black source. But I can't complain because we have Tyrants. Or sorry, Bandits Hall. I'll play that. Um, let's see what we get. Throw from the saddles, nice. Nice. I think we're actually going to turn three bandits hall here. Yeah, medic doesn't really create that much. Um, um, urgency. We haven't drawn a single land though, so that's of note. Otherwise, I'd like to be able to free stride a lookout into either tyrant scorn or throw from the saddle something. Yep. Huh? Boombox. Alright. There's a land. Um. Free Strider Lookout. What's Tyrant Scorn do again? Next. End turn. I think we hold up Tyrant Scorn. If they try to remove this, I can bounce it. Um. And if they try to do something tricky with the outlaw medic, I can kill whatever or bounce that, right? I'll block the medic if they attack. Yeah, yeah. I want them to, to waste it. Yeah, yeah, they got it. They got it. They have it. Take your own death. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Bonk. Um, What do we need? We need a black source, right? And this will allow us to Bonnie Paul next turn. Um, another crime. Another black source. Bonnie Paul. They have a land. They have three lands. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands out. Plus, I can tap the Bandits Hall. This is absolutely stupid. I think they missed the land drop back, back there, but still. Like, what a hell of- I'm sorry, opponent. You're basically losing to green rares. Oh, god. What a stu- And we have stop cold and throw from the saddle. We basically have all action. Okay. Yeah. Like, that's cute. Um, do I just throw that? Is that... is that game? That is game, right? Oh my god. Do you see this disparity? Do you see this? This absolute, like, 
thrashing when this works? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We had ten lands out. Our opponent had four. We have a bandit's haul out. Oh my god. Absolutely silly. This is the silliest shit. Leave match. Um, and sure, it's like it's like a weird ramp deck. Uh they also had like no board. It's just like, oh yeah, that's fine. Get rid of that. I could have played the Strix and done the same thing, just tap it down for a turn. Uh four and two. I'm sorry, opponent. That was that was just rude. Yeah, that was like incredibly rude. I think that was the fastest match I've ever been in in this format. Absolutely silly. Absolutely silly. They tried to they tried to combat trick kill my 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 free strider lookout only to watch their creature get bounced. I don't think so. It's like I don't think so, sir. Um, <laughs> All right, this is fine. Uh, Mirage Mesa for green. It's the only color we're missing. Yeah, we can keep this. Vault Plunder, turn three to draw us a card. I think that that's fine, right? There, ping us. Or we got that for green. So, I think we still... We'll play this for black, then. I would have liked an Honest Rutstein, though. All things considered. That would have been a great pickup for this deck. Um, Servant of the Stinger. Sure. Oh, okay. So, there's a Blood Seeker. Kill myself. Gong gong. There goes Lazav. Bye Lazav. Uh, shame. And I think next turn we pylons. Plunderer? Is the opponent just gonna kill my desperate bloodseeker? Like, I kinda see it, right? Like, just the using the throw from the saddle. Oh! Alright, um. Kind of pylons here. Yeah, that's fine. Now this uh, servant of the stinger actually trades with the uh, that thing. Uh, no attacks right now, because obviously that would just kill this. Holy cow! All right. Servant of the stinger is a problem, but not a huge problem. Um, also, we have the mana to eventually just ambush Gigapede the holy cow, so I'm not super worried about the two two flyer. Uh, it does represent. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, it does represent. Kill, 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 right? Um, or not kill, 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 rather. Bonk, bonk, bonk. In the meantime, we're going to take six damage off of it. That's going to suck. Uh, the Vault Plunderer trades with the Servant of the Stinger, so that's good. And worst comes to worst, if we throw from the saddle with the Desperate Bloodseeker, we can kill the Servant of the Stinger. Opponent. I'm waiting for my opponent to play a land. There we go. I was like, are we going to stumble here? Silver Deputy. Okay. Sure. Planes on top. Drew another land. Um... Play a swamp. Or, sorry, a forest. I think now is a good time to just throw from the saddle Desperate Bloodseeker. Actually, no, throw from the saddle Vault Plunderer. No, because then I gain more life if I do this, right? So, And attack with both. Sure. I thought about, like, maybe we don't trade like this, but actually this works out better for me, so... Because with the Vault Plunder in the yard, if I need to get it back, I can with uh, Mourner's Surprise or whatever. But likely, I don't think we want to do that, right? <clears throat> Opponent has five lands, or five mana up. Let's see what they do with it. Opponent deep in the tank, I think the attack is... Yep, there you go. It's like, come on, come on, you can make the attack. You at least get that, right? 
we did climb back up to 20 because the throw from the saddle killing their their uh that thing oh okay they're getting a the five five all right another land is not great here um i think now might be a good time to stop hold this mainly because i just don't want to deal with it um it's a five five it's gonna block that pretty well and then in another turn we have ambush gigapede to do some two for one nonsense If they bounce the token, they don't get anything from it. They could sacrifice the token, right? Deserts do. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, play this. Next. That pass here. In turn, we can ambush Gigapede when they go to attackers with Holy Cow. Um, I think that that's fine. Pass. They don't have um, counter magic. They might have removal? They could have take up the shield, which would save their Holy Cow. Never mind. Sure. Wily Duke. Um, I'm gonna attack into this. I'd rather save my consuming ashes for something that matters. And then we can still Sterling Hound. I'm gonna play a forest and then, no, island. Then Sterling Hound. Opponents big think on whether or not to take this. Oh, do they have, um, hmm, strange? Like, this still blocks Wily Duke. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to play a f an Island, and I'm going to play a Sterling Hound. We're going to Surveil to. We don't want either of those. And we're going to end our turn here, leaving up Consuming Ashes. Oh, please have a fight spell. That would feel so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Another Wily Duke. Alright, so... Doing this? Oh, we get to surveil, right? So... Hmm. Tyrant Scorn's not terrible. But we need action, not more removal. There's a lock picker, which is great here. Uh, end turn. This lock picker is a promise that I can. Um, I can play. And I'm gonna hold on to this. Actually, you know what? Let me play this Strix because it will help us loot away this forest. End turn. Plus, it's a it's a flying clock. Sure, varmints. Okay, so else. Activate this. I'm still gonna attack into the varmints. Um. Ah, uh, pitch that. Treasure dredger is a body. All right, so next, I'll attack. They sacrifice it to destroy the stop cold. I'm gonna play the lock picker. Yep. Okay. To Dimaggio. Play the lock picker. They get my tyrant scorn. And return target creature to its owner's hand. Um oh, and the treasure dredger can come out. End turn. I can loot away the Soured Springs, and I likely do so here. Is it... Oh, it's draw, then discard. Okay. Good game. Whoops. Good game. Good game. Good game! Oh. 
We beat them on uh, value. Even though we weren't drawing anything, they weren't drawing much of anything either. They had two Wily Dukes, though. That's wild. That is wild. Leave match. Um, yeah, two Wily Dukes. I, I, have I gotten to play with that card yet? Either? At all? I mean, at this point, who knows, right? All right, five wins, two losses. We're going into round eight. Yeah, five and two. This could end at any moment, but we're on a heater because Bonnie Paul is super stupid. Bonnie Paul's a really ridiculous, uh, ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, we didn't draw her at all last game. That would have really made things difficult for our opponent. They also never drew into removal, right? So, oh, um, I have to turn one Soured Springs, I think. But this is keepable. We have only black and blue cards, and we have the mana for them. Um, we're actually going to use Vault Plunderer to draw. Funny as that sounds. Opponents uh, deciding as to whether or not they want a Mooligan. Mooligan like a hooligan. And if we could draw, like, a nice two-drop that's blue or black, that'd be great. Hey! Oh, never didn't not have it, guys. Draw a card here, all attack. And there's our green source. Fierce Retribution. Okay. Better that than anything else, really. Um... I think next turn we can Blazov? Yeah. We'll play the Heath and then we'll we'll uh, attack and then Blazov. Opponents, uh, oh, you know, if they don't cast anything this turn, I'm just going to, all right, that's fine. Uh, let's see. There's nothing in my yard, right? Yeah. All right, so maybe it might be worth Hauling and then heathing. No, let's let's actually let's see. Let's Lazav here. And then Heath. That way we commit a crime. So this gets a token. And I'm gonna get rid of your fierce retribution. There's so much value in this deck. I think it might actually Okay. So they're criming here, so they're getting a land. Yeah, they're they're living the dream right now. Uh, they can't really attack because my Lazav can realistically blank it. So, um, it's uh, it's doing anything. So I think what we do here is we play this. I'm gonna send in the Vault Plunderer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to Spring Splasher, and then Bandit's Hall. Next turn, I could actually send in Lazav. Provided they don't uh, tap out. Hmm. Yeah, that's not great. Okay. Um. No crime there. Okay. They have access to counter magic, too. What do we do here? We attack with this one and this one. We can make this a 0 3. Attack with this one. And then that crime. So this becomes a 3 6. And then if they block funny, we ambush Gigapede. I like that. Oh, but we can't attack with Vault Hunter here. Um. Ooh. Gonna crime. Uh, decline. I don't want to make this a 2-2. Next. Sure. Wow! They are afraid of that one. Okay. Um, That's kind of wild that they're this afraid of Lazav. It's every time it crimes, right? Whenever you commit a crime... I do want to kill that. Um, 
here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put this here no there we go i would like to kill those two it's too juicy it's too juicy not to if they have the counter they have the counter and we get a big blow out here but it's another crime hopefully it kills this Oh, they don't know how this shit works, do they? It's still dead, baby. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, opponent. Shepherd in the clouds, yep. I can get back the... yeah, okay. Sure. Surveils. Uh-huh. I'd like anything but a land here. Um... I guess we attack with everything. Uh, make this a... Okay, never mind. Good game. Um... Wow. You know what? You know what? Actually okay to be afraid of Lazav. Uh, this triggers only once each turn. So I was mistaken there, but... Opponent was also mistaken in thinking that they could save their Prosperity Tycoon from a minus two minus two. They actually just went down another creature. Uh, I, it wasn't really dead also. I still wanted to get rid of this free strider lookout. And they did get the value off of it too. Um, it did kind of suck that we were drawing nothing for a while. Uh, leaf match. Oh, and we were going to crime again. So that means that the bandits hall would have gotten another token. So we could have drew another card, which would have been nice. Nice. All right. Claim that six and two final round. You can't get to the final round without playing at your best. Or who knows? I don't know. Um, part of me was a little afraid of the Platinum Plateau because I've been stuck there for a while before. And now I know it's accessible. I've been watching a lot of um, other content creators doing their stuff. And like trying to pick up on, on like what's good, you know, what I'm over-evaluating, what I'm under-evaluating, under right? This is perfect mana. Um... Sure, play this. I know that that's, that's a crime, right? Sure, ankle biter. Alright. Uh, play this next. I'll attack. End turn. Um, we just need to draw into action. Uh, okay, pass. Pass, pass. Um, my turn. Okay. Play this next. Um, Gardner. Now I can use the Tyrant Scorn to kill the Ankle Biter. Uh, if they get froggy here. Grover Grizzly, never mind. That's the new target for it. <laughs> yeah, no blocks. Don't particularly care about that. Oh, hello. Ah, damn. Alright, so. I think we still kill the Grizzly here. Actually, wait, hold on, cancel. I have the mana, what's wrong with me? This. Destroy target creature. That's a crime, get a land. Get rid of that thing. Next, all attack. And then in another turn, we can ambush Gigapede, kill the Ankle Biter. Or just, um, Slick Shot Lock Picker, kill something else small. Right? Yeah, no blocks. Cool. Bridal Bighorn. Okay. Um, do I just bounce that? Huh. I don't think I need the land right now. What I could do is kill that. I guess we could just attack into it, right? What, make him have it? Because we have Ambush Gigapede, right? Um... I'm gonna hold on to this land. Because we could still ambush Gigapede, kill the Ankle Biter, and then block the Bridal Bighorn. Right? That's like not irresponsible. Mm -hmm. And that also commits a crime, so the Free Strider Lookout gets us a land. Bridal Bighorn number two. Okay. 
All right, resolve. Attack with both. Pass. Oh. Kill that. Commit the crime. Get the sour springs. Block that. Uh, Creosote Heat. Get a land. Bonnie Paul to the bottom. Um. Next. All attack. Sure. Next. Alright. Um. Giga P down. I'm gonna actually plot this. And then end turn here. So we can get back the, um, what's it called? The Tyrant Scorn? So if they play anything too small, like, sure, right? Uh, we did send the Bonnie Paul to the bottom during our last bit of, uh, scrying. Or whatever it was, our last cycle. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. Wily Duke. Ooh, that's pretty good. We can kill that with um, Tyrant Scorn, especially when that's out. Okay. I think we still swing. Sure. That gains them a life, draws them a card. That's all. That's hexproof. Yep. Okay. It's a five, four, five rather. Yep. Past the blockers. No. Just taking it. All right, so activating this, uh, pitch in that. Okay, play this. Getting the scorns. Uh, destroy target creature with mana value three or less. That crimes. Snakes can veil. Um, okay. Result. Uh, get a land. Next, attack with this guy. Yeah. Bong. Um, hmm. This Wily Duke's gonna be a problem. Play Conduit Pylons. Consuming Ashes is great here. I can pitch the land that I have in hand to get it now. We're going to hold off on that, though, and turn. You know, maybe I should have actually done that. Do I full control this? Maybe. Oh, maybe I should have done it last turn so that they don't get another card here. We do need to have access to... Okay, so... Colorless... Green... Blue... We're gonna draw a card... Pitch that... Kill that, hopefully. We're also going to... Oh, don't help. tell me you have another. Okay. Um, we're going to take a Mirage, no, it doesn't matter. Take another Swamp. Don't tell me you had another Snakeskin Veil. Okay, there's the Surveil. There is another removal spell. View Battlefield. Hmm. Throw from the Saddle doesn't really do it. Desperate Bloodseeker can buy us some time, but I'd rather not have it. And I think what we have to do here is just um, use the throw from the saddle to kill the Miriam. Get another land, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven lands out, by the way. Sure. Um, I don't care about four right now. They didn't saddle either. <coughs> okay. Uh, no blocks right now. Not super important. Here. Mm hmm? 
Okay, so... I'm actually going to activate this to see what we can get. Uh, is Lazav better now? Um... Assuming Ashes is, though. Um... Bloop. Ah, oh, total miss and the Bonnie Paul to the bottom. Okay. So anyway, I started blasting. At this point, I don't mind if the Free Strider lookout goes. I don't know if there's any... Haste speed. Oh, there's holy cow. Yeah, there's holy cow. All right. Not haste speed. Sorry, instant speed. Um, creatures. But yes, there's holy cow. Completely for, completely forgot about holy cow. Very good card. Very good card here. Um. Okay. Seems like they like their next card. So they could eat the bird. Yep. Trade there. Five? I think you wanna I think you yeah, I think you do wanna trade there. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, is this to take up the shield? If they have a take up the shield, that's not great. Right? It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. All right. Again, not the end of the world. Uh, six damage means they can take us in two turns, though, which means we really need to draw something. They're activating Bucolic Ranch here. This is a great way to scry for something. Oh, they got a bear. Okay. Not great. Not great. That's like drawing two cards here. Uh, what would get us? What would get us across? Probably the Bonnie Paul. Maybe the spider. Stop cold's not terrible. No attacks, end turn. Oh, I can't stop cold that. Okay. Sure. Alright. I have to block like this and hope that they don't have trash the town. Okay. Burrow Fiend. Not enough. Good game. Let's see. <sighs> ah! We were going so close to the sun. Was it right to throw away that one removal spell? I don't... I don't know, actually. We had so many removal spells in this deck, though, and it they worked perfectly. They were they were on on uh, on fleek, as the kids say. <laughs> Let's see. Was it r wrong to put the Desperate Bloodseeker and the Lazav into the graveyard? I also don't believe so. Um, trading the Free Strider Lookout for their or attempting to for their Miriam. Uh, mm, I guess knowing that our opponent had open mana might not have been the best thing to do. It did seem like we were pretty, pretty well off early on, right? Especially because we were able to two for one them with the ambush gigapete early on, right? Killing their, uh, killing their ankle biter while also simultaneously, um, trading for their first of their bridal bighorns, right? Um, having to get rid of another one with consuming ashes kind of sucked. Um, using slick shot lock picker was great when we had that, right? Because it was just like, I mean, sure, they had snakeskin veil, but still, you know, still being able to do it then and there was like really good. Uh, what could have helped? Maybe drawing something that mattered, I guess. Because we didn't really draw any of the top end at all this game, right? We didn't draw, well, I guess we had the ambush gigapede. We didn't get the, uh, the mortar surprise would have even helped a lot because that could have put the gigapede back in our hand. 
And that would have killed the holy cow. <sighs> yeah, we would have needed the mortar surprise or the bonnie paul would have been nice. I have no idea where that is. I think it's like in the bottom 10, actually. Done. How many cards were left? 14 cards were left in the deck. Yeah, we, we churned through that deck, though. That was our final boss. We went six and three. Not quite a trophy. Almost, though. Pretty good, though, I, I, I want to say. I think we did pretty well there. Uh, let's look at the deck again. Um, no, I did not rare draft, <laughs> but I can't say no to free strider lookout. This card's amazing. Um, a three, three with reach. Sure. I'm a little bit too uh, precious of it because of all the value it gives you, but all the value that it gives you, holy crap. It's so much value. I, I absolutely adore playing this card whenever we get to draft it. Getting one land feels like feels amazing getting three or more is just like oh i i get i'm sorry like you know we have 12 lands out and you only have three cool you know like um and we got to live that dream a few times uh sterling hound was fine uh the gardeners are great well not great but they're always always useful the harrier strix ah such, such a cute birdie i i really do like this as a one drop in blue it's one of the few blue cards that I want to say like that's actually not terrible being able to loot and also um, having a 1-1 flyer that commits a crime when it enters the battlefield it makes your block I mean sure sorry it makes your uh, attacks that much better I I still am very high on Harrier Strix you don't want more than like two I, I actually maybe not even more than one um a lot of a lot of removal here stop colds consuming ashes a kick a tyrant scorn and we never really had like issues with mana too, which is great. Yeah. Um, if you're watching on the YouTube and you knew that, please hit that thumbs up button. But more importantly, come over to twitch.tv slash record. Link in the description where you catch streaming video games, leathercraft, and other sort of nonsense. I'm going to keep trying to uh, maybe hit diamond. I don't know. Let's see how, how this works out. But uh, until next time, have a, have a good evening, folks. Doodle -doodle.